Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and for today I'm going to share with you the updates um, once of the newsletter that you're going to receive once you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news Okay, so this is the website where you subscribe for $15 a month at, or $180 a year and you can also cryptocurrency and fiat also Okay, so let's go to the newsletter, so this is the newsletter uh, that the subscribers received some hours ago so here's the headline so Bitcoin cash miners break records processing multiple 32 MB blocks okay on Saturday November 10 the operation BMG mining pool mined multiple 32 blocks 32 MB rather blocks on Bitcoin cash network the first block at height 556034 was the biggest block ever mined on the BCH chain and the process confirmed over 166 thousand transactions a couple of hours later bmg pool mined four more 32 mb blocks confirming another 166,000 of pending transactions each so bmg pool mines the first 32 mb block confirming over 166,000 bitcoin cash transactions so bitcoin cash supporters have a milestone to celebrate today as miners have to put have put the 32 mb block size limit to the test at approximately 7 45 a.m EST, BMG mining processed block 556034, which is approximately 31,997.624 KB or 31.99 MB in size. The blocks are past the previous largest block, our mine on the Bitcoin Cash chain, which was block 546423, processed by BMG pool and was 23.15 MB in size. That specific block on September 4 processed only 97,318 transactions. And many observers noticed how long it took to propagate. Okay, so here's the uh, full story. Okay, so let's read. So here's the BMG pool, right? So as you can see, is the size. Okay, so B BMG pool started mining 32 MB blocks at block height 556034 and followed with three more maximum sized blocks. So after the block was mined, a good portion of Bitcoin Cash proponents took to social media and forums to tell the world about the first mega block. Most of the Bitcoin Cash community was thrilled to see the 32 MB block size limit put to the test. While discussing the third the subject and sharing analytical data, for instance, one metric people enjoyed was the fact that block 556034 confirmed more transactions than half a day's worth of Bitcoin Cash transactions on an average day. Thanks to the large block mined by BMG and the previously processed blocks, the Bitcoin Cash chain has confirmed roughly 1.3 million transactions over the last 24 hours. Okay, so now the mysterious hash spike hash rate spike in the 532 MB blocks Good. okay so the large blocks come just days before the continuous contentious hard fork plan for November 15 where two Bitcoin Cash development teams have not agreed on consensus changes the first 32 MB block was a perfect achievement however for some of community members who observe the network react it seems some Bitcoin Cash nodes from different four, I mean, for, from four different implementations dropped off the network temporarily, with the largest set of dropped nodes stemming from Bitcoin Unlimited hosts. Although BU and other Bitcoin Cash clients had issued new releases over the last few days, and many of the BU nodes that dropped were mostly running 1.4 and earlier. Okay, so a good number of Bitcoin cap or of B nodes running 1.4 and earlier dropped when 32 MB block was processed. Another Bitcoin Cash full node clients also saw some nodes fall off the network. The nodes improved for the following 32 MB blocks processed on Saturday. The analytical website cashnodes.io shows a consistent pattern of node, or I mean of B 1.3.0.1 and 1.4 nodes. Had dropped and many versions 
1.5 on mini version 1.5 view cache users said their nodes ran properly so my view cache 1.5.0.1 .1 and electron x node showed increased cpu usage during the mini transactions but run fine otherwise explained a bitcoin cache proponent on reddit who runs a bit view cache node another interesting piece of data that stemmed from the mega block fiesta was the bitcoin cache and bit Coin hash rate shift. According to fork.lol statistics, the three are stacked averages of the relative Bitcoin cash rate and the percentage of totals had climbed significantly, eating into SHA256 bit Bitcoin based hash rate. Okay. So let's continue reading. So, following the block mine at 7.45 a.m. EST, another 32 block was processed by BMG pool at approximately 9.45 a.m. EST. Block 556045 contained approximately 166,882 transactions, which were confirmed in one fell swoop. The first and then the second largest block mine had caused some fervent excitement throughout the Bitcoin Cash community, to say the least. Not long after the second block, a third 32 MB was mined, clearing 166,799 transactions. The mining pool did not stop there, and a fourth block was processed at the maximum block size available. This Bitcoin Cash block at height 556048 contained 166,337 transactions in total. Lastly, block 556049 was the fifth 32 MB block mined by BMG Pool which was followed by CoinGeek miners undertaking a 15 MB block. Overall, many observers from the entire cryptocurrency community was fascinated by the large blocks mined by BMG pool and more, more information will likely stem from analysts researching the five blocks data over the course of the weekend. It, se it seems very likely that the Bitcoin Cash community may even see more big blocks mined in the near future. Okay, so that is the main headlines. So this is very good news for Bitcoin Cash miners and Bitcoin Cash holders. Okay, so Ethereum's Joe Loban blockchain will take a little longer to develop than the web. So blockchain will probably take a little longer to develop than the internet because it is much more complicated. Consensus creator jo Joseph Loban told German media outlet 10 in an interview Cointelegraph of Dude reported November 9. Lumen, who is also the co-founder of Ethereum, told reporters that blockchain technology is developing in a similar way to the web, citing its exponential growth with hundreds of projects that are already practical for humans to date. Okay. So based on blockchain's use case for decentralized cryptocurrencies, the digital entrepreneur also suggested that distributed ledger technology or DLT will be able to permit society more than the internet and enabling or enable a centralized internet on Web3. Lumen, however, forecast that the adoption of blockchain on a mass scale will take longer than that of the internet. So blockchain projects will, be, will enable people to build more things that will come in handy again. That's how the web was developed. It will probably take a little longer because it is much more complicated. Also, because we work on topics such as digital money, blockchain will permit society um, more than the internet. Everything will be networked in a web 3. In, uh, in the interview, Lumen stressed the fact that Consensus, an Ethereum-focused startup incubator and infrastructure development firm, was born prior to the release of Ethereum, with the goal of building tools and infrastructure to enable the uh, decentralized ecosystem in which Ethereum could function. Lumen also emphasized that the firm is interested in bringing the ecosystem forward rather than controlling it. So we, Consensus, do many things. But we are not interested in controlling the ecosystem. We are interested in promoting the ecosystem. Okay, so addressing the question of the Ethereum ecosystems, 
decentralization, Lumen reported, retorted, do you expect it to be fully mature three years after its creation? Um, when asked about how the dynamics of the current internet could be transformed in Web3, Lumen shrugged off a comparison between consensus and major internet giants like Facebook and Google, and saying, pointing to IBM and Microsoft, Accenture, and Deloitte, Deloitte as possible centralizing forces in blockchain. Lumen also stated that the principal business models of the internet today are contradictory to the nature of blockchain, which enables a self-determined sovereign identity. Earlier this year, Lubin predicted that the global community is moving towards a world based on decentralized governance, supporting the data, I mean the idea that major cryptocurrency Bitcoin is likely to remain the world's digital gold, while Ethereum would serve as a fuel for decentralized ecosystems. Okay, so that is the second headline for today or the second update. The third one is Bitcoin ETF could attract billions in new investment to Van Eck. A Bitcoin ETF could attract millions of dollars in new investments, so the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, should treat pending proposals as an opportunity to regulate the crypto markets and crypto exchange traded fund advocate Gabor Gorbax. Gorbax, the director of digital asset strategy at Vanek, made this claim during an interview with CNBC, Africa's crypto trader. The comments came in the wake of Vanek's persistent requests to the U.S. securities regulator to approve their Bitcoin ETF proposals. The SEC is so far has rejected nine similar proposals, citing concerns about manipulations and market surveillance in the crypto spot market. Okay, so let's read the full story. Vanek has been in the news for meticulously modifying its ETF application to address the sex concerns. In times when the nascent crypto industry sometimes still works in a gray area of law, Vanek is attempting to launch a crypto ETF under a, a conventional regulatory watch. In the sec approves if the SEC approves the ETF application, then it could certainly pave the way for both regulators and industry companies to understand how crypto fits into the regu federal regulatory framework. In the interview, Gorbach said that Vanex Bitcoin product would safeguard the interests of investors while preserving the overall benefits associated with digital currency trading. What sets our ETF apart is that it's physical Bitcoin ETF, so it stays true to the Bitcoin you know you own in underlying, he explained. It's fully insured, so if there, there is any theft, hacks, or losses, then the insurance covers it. Gorbax also highlighted uh, how they would protect the investors from price manipulation. The pricing, he explained. That we use for Bitcoin comes from our indexing subsidiary. It is a regulated entity which provided the first financial um, standard and regulated indices. The ETF is institutional oriented, so we have a cap of 25 Bitcoins per basket. Okay. So market prediction, the interview also saw us a particular segment dedicated to exploring the potential approval of Vanex Bitcoin EDF and how it might have an immediate impact on the Bitcoin market as a whole. Gorbax predicted that a Bitcoin EDF could perform much like a traditional gold ETF. Institutional investors who do not watch to take risks by investing in Bitcoin via less secure and safe spot markets could find ETFs as a go-to option. As a result, the very first day of a Bitcoin ETF could attract as much as $1 billion in investments. Our gold ETFs are still already in a few billion dollars range, Gorbax added. There are gold ETFs in 10 million range as well. I wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin ETF gets in a few billion dollars range. Okay. So that are the three um, 
news updates for today okay so let's go down to see the latest um, top coins on all the gurus research so these are dash central land doc wax zcash bitcoin eos Tower, tron and zero x okay so you can view the those at the spreadsheet will just click open spreadsheet and you're going to see all of it here so as seen um, as stated here so the red have negative news orange have, are neutral yellow are fair green have good news and the blue ones are showing the best news so the blue ones are these coins so these coins are the blue ones here rather okay so if you have time you can um, subscribe at preferred currency that news to have access to this very nice web webs um, spreadsheet okay so this spreadsheet is full of information as uh, especially some technical analysis like the 50 day candle sma movement right so it's very very um, interesting as also some suggestions also are also in the description okay so right so you can edit also that um, by following the instructions here okay so aside from that you can also view here uh, in the newsletter the high volume change how interesting the interesting technical price action the high weekly trade volume and the high Google search activity tokens okay and also if you want to earn crypto each month you can earn by becoming an affiliate so just click the picture here or go to the website and click affiliate at the upper right corner okay so so there are also other useful links here and you can access that once you subscribe preferred currency dot news for fifteen dollars a month or one hundred eighty dollars a year so if i were you i would subscribe to get the latest updates on cryptocurrencies and all the other um, useful links like this one so i'm going to show you these two marketplace websites so these two marketplace websites are websites where you can post any items, real estate, and vacation rentals that are that are for rent or for sale in exchange for cryptocurrencies, especially EOS. So as you can see, there's a lot of items here, and there are also a lot of websites that um, are in exchange for cryptocurrencies. You got, there's also um, contact information where you can contact them if you're interested in buying one of those, okay, or these rather. Like this one so the first website is use marketplace.news the second is marketplace.pcm not today so guys i think that's it uh, subscribe at preferred currency.news for 15 dollars a month or 180 dollars a year right so before i go i just want to say that i am not a financial advisor and everything i say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto so you must always do your research before deciding for yourself all right so this has been vic once again bringing you the the daily updates. Uh, bye bye.